All right, so what we are looking at now is, if I can get it out of here, pretty good idea, is our ester uh, product. Now, again, when you're doing practical, you've got to make sure that you're getting the, what it looked like at the start, what it looked like in the middle uh, during reflux, and now we're trying to work out what it looks like at the end. Now, you probably can't see it in the, uh, in the video, but there's a very small um, layer down the bottom, all right? So there's distinctly two layers here. So that's the thing you need to observe. Hopefully you've got two layers, any colour change. Like I said, sometimes these end up being pale pink in colour. I don't really know why that's the case, but I know that across different schools, uh, people get different results, which is interesting. All right, so that's, if you look it up, actually, I just remember just then, there is a reason for it turning pale pink. And it's not to do um, with contamination at all. So there is, a, there is something to do with side reaction occurs that makes it pink that you can look up. All right, so what I've done, it's uh, sort of reasonably cooled down now, so we're gonna do the extraction. So we know this is 50 mils, and we've got a fairly large quantity, all right, of product here as well. So although the procedure says, I think, add 20 mils of water, it'll be whatever amount of water we can add, okay? So we're going to just decant that into here, and we wanna try and avoid um, getting that boiling chip in at the end, and as you can see, it's gonna be fairly full, isn't it? And although we haven't got smell of vision, what, what are you smelling at the moment? Nail polish removal. Oh, it's a little bit like nail polish removal. What happens towards the end of an extra practical is that your um, receptors in your nose sort of get dead to everything. You just don't smell anything because you've been in the lab and everything pongs pretty badly. All right, so I've got most of that there. I'm not really too fussed about that. Small amount left in, okay. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll just need to rinse this with water um, and get that ready for our distillation, which is gonna happen in the next step. All right, so what I've got here, all right, is uh, my mixture of ester and the aqueous layer. A lot of people, first thing they do is, we don't know which is the aqueous layer, which is the organic layer, all right? So I'm gonna add some water. And where's the water going? The water's going to the bottom, okay? So this tells me straight away, all right, that I've probably got most of my ester in the top layer, which is pretty good, all right? It looks like a reasonable quantity of ester. Purity we don't know, all right, at this particular point. It could be not exactly what we're after, okay, at the end of the day. Um, by the way, just with these clamps, this is only just to hold the thing, that's all, and not to actually clamp it, so I don't want to see people holding this in three-dimensional space or holding it like that, okay? So this is the safest way to clamp your separating funnel. All right, the extraction process, when you do this, you point it away from people, all right? So don't point it towards your partner when you're shaking it, because it will, okay, build up some pressure, like that, maybe. It's pointing straight at me. Okay, so all we're doing is just releasing the pressure, and I might end up washing this twice with water, uh, but then again, I might not. Okay, depending on how it looks, all right? And of course, doing this, make sure you've got your finger on the stopper, okay? I've seen people just take their hands off that before and it all runs down, okay? And they go back to square one again. You don't have to do it like that, you can actually just do this, you know, release the pressure by taking the stopper off. Whatever way you feel comfortable doing it, okay? It's entirely up to you, all right, how you do that. So you can do that method as well. All right, now we're gonna let it settle. And what's the what's the uh, intention of mixing it with water? Can anybody in lightness? Is the essence what we want to do? The, what's the um, purpose behind that? It forms two aqueous layers where it the soluble forms of the out of the Okay, so separate the aqueous from the um. Okay, okay. so yeah. what we're we're trying to get stuff to go into the aqueous layer. What are we trying to get to go into the aqueous layer? Uh, alcohol. Maybe the, okay, maybe the acidic acid, which we know is water soluble, it's unreacted. Maybe some unreacted sulfuric acid, okay. Uh, maybe some of the butanol, but the butanol is probably going to be not very water soluble. So we're going to let it sit for a little while. Uh, sometimes this is a quick process, sometimes it's a slow process. So if we just look at what's happening, okay, behind that, and we're sort of getting 
two layers there as well down the bottom, but I only can just see the two layers. All right, they're pretty close together. Um, and it's taken a little while to separate out. So they're the two layers there. We could add a die, but we're not gonna do that. All right, we could add a water soluble dye um, to go to the aqueous layer to make it a bit easier, but we're not gonna contaminate anything too much at this point. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the aqueous layer, because that's rubbish. All right, we know that this is the organic layer, so we're gonna retain the organic layer, and then we're gonna rinse the organic layer with uh, sodium, sodium carbonate. And this is where we've gotta be really careful, okay? Because this will build up a lot of pressure really quickly. All right, because we're producing what gas? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is gonna react with any acid that's present. All right, so I think I'm reasonably confident with that. Okay, in terms of, probably gonna let it, yeah, that'll be enough. So what I'm gonna do now is, Take that down. I don't want to lose too much of my product. This is where you can get down at eye level. You're probably going to have to get down at eye level. For this, in theory, I'm supposed to let it go through just a fraction. Stop. I might have lost a small amount of product there. All right, these are little little ways you can um, obviously reduce. Sorry, not reduce. Increase your yield. I'm just looking in the beaker and looking pretty good. Um, so it's mainly water there. Okay, only aqueous. Now again, that's not much of an aqueous layer because the volume of S that we use is fairly large. Okay, so um, again, if we had time, we would go back and probably rinse it a few times with water. Um, we could use a bigger um, separating funnel as well. So if you watch with this one when I put this in, you'll probably see some bubbles. We don't need to record, or it's just... Right. As much of that as we can put in. Basically. Yeah, I know the procedure says 20 mils, but I increased the um, quantities from a practical I did a few years ago. And this one here, if you watch here, here this will definitely go. You hear that? Yeah. Yep. All right. So there's definitely unreacted acid in there. All right, and I've probably got rid of most of that. So I've now turned it into a soluble carbonate. And carbon dioxide, so I think I got rid of all that already. Um, again, I could go back and do a double extraction, but what's the problem with doing a double extraction? Time, time and you might lose product. Yeah. Gonna, each time I do the extraction, I'm going to lose some product. Okay, so I've got to be careful because um, obviously, if we were, if there was marks awarded to products, well, this stuff was like really hard to uh, isolate, really hard to make. I'm not going to want to lose anything at this particular point. All right, I'll put that back in the same beaker because we know it's aqueous. And again, uh, we've just got to wait a few seconds for it to settle. Yep. Would you rather lose product or would you rather keep the aqueous layer? Um, you would probably sacrifice product, the yield, for the purity because we want to try and get rid of all of the aqueous layer, we don't want any, any aqueous layer left there. So when I run this down, I'm trying to get the organic layer just to go just into the tap, so I've got no aqueous there. Not that it matters significantly at the end of the day, because we're going to uh, dry it, okay, and then we're also going to do a distillation. So we're trying to get rid of most of it. This is just as a, uh, a process that you, you use normally <coughs> when you're making any organic product extraction. All right, I think that's enough, a bit cloudy. The cloudiness indicates, by the way, that there's still water. There's still water in the ester, okay? It's sort of like a bit milky or cloudy. So again, if we let it settle for a lot longer, uh, we could make sure that it was a really clear um, ester. And it looks like the clear, it looks like the esters are gonna be colourless in this practical, all right? Some of you, you might find this gonna be a pinky colour. So again, I'm just going to um, run that through. It's almost like a titration. titration. Oops, I probably lost a little bit then, and I did. Okay, well, it's no big deal because it's not my experiment. Okay, <laughs> all right. So there's a little bit of ester floating in there. That's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right. And the last step now, we really were quite confident. Oh, the other thing I've got to say is that some people do this. That's a no-no, that's a big no-no. No, that's fine. It just means when they turn the tap on, they wonder why it doesn't actually empty out. Because you create a vacuum. So 
Don't come and ask me why you can't get it to work. That's good. Okay, just make sure the stopper's not in there when you're obviously separating out the layers. Now this is going to go straight into uh, my conical flask and we're then going to add some calcium chloride. What's the procedure say? How much calcium chloride? Uh, 5 to 10 grams. 5 to 10 grams, all right. Is that critical? No. Does it matter? No. Not really. Okay. So we've actually got some calcium chloride. You can see the oiliness of the ester here. Look at that. So these um, quick fits need to be cleaned before we use them again later. And I'm also getting some pretty strong smell, okay, of the ester. So what we're going to do now is, all right, and you can use, obviously, um, this method here. This is called bucket chemistry, all right. This is pre-weighed for you, actually. Well, we're going to say that it's pre-weighed, all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we're going to just stop at that. Don't jam the stopper in too much. And that was our uh, fused calcium chloride. And you'll see already it's starting to form big lumps, and the big lumps is when it's absorbing the moisture, okay. Now that's going to sit for 24 hours, okay, and make sure you label this so that you know that it's yours. That goes into the fume hood, okay, and then tomorrow we pick this up for distillation. Everybody okay with the extraction? Yeah. 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 All right. Brilliant. We done? Yeah. All right. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs>